Sunday, friends. I hope that you are having a pleasant day. I've got a couple new things to go in the shop today. A couple new flow style journal. The first journal is called Memories, and it features a photo of a little fella on the front. Isn't that sweet? I, I have two boys, and that just reminds me of them. And, and, you know, they're picking dandelions and looking at a butterfly. The lamination on the front of it is, uh, the transparency on the front is, uh, has kites on it. So it turned out really sweetly. I used a mixture of blue wood beads and some clear glass beads and some handmade paper beads on the spine of this book. It just lent itself really well with its whimsical feel to using handmade paper beads on it. So let's take a look inside. I am crazy about stars, so that's the way this little book starts out. And of course, we're, st we're focusing on story. And this is a book for you to write your own story in. Maybe a story of a sweet memory, you know, about your children or about your boys. This is a 1941 working paper and study guide, the 20th Century Bookkeeping and Accounting, that's published by Southwestern, and it's copyright 1940. Um, the pages that I received from, um, I think it was Donna that sent this to me, were marked 1941. Just an exquisite piece of ledger paper. This is from the Shakespeare, the big book of Shakespeare that I have, um, Taming of the Shrew. And we made a pocket out of that, put some tags in there for you. This is, I believe this is Ava Maria. I'm not sure. Let me see what we got here. Nope, not Ava Maria. It is a piece of 1930 sheep music that is... It's English, German, and Latin right here. Oh, so pretty. And some hardy boys. A little bit of the beautiful Hebrew text. Not only in white, but in a very vintage cream color. I think that's so pretty. And more Shakespeare, Two Gentlemen of Verona. There are so many papers in here for you to play with. And it's getting close to the time that we're starting to think about Valentine's. I know that it, Valentine's is in all the stores now. You could take a book like this and make your own Valentine cards. It would be quite simple to just pull the papers out of the book and put them on an ATC or even make... Valentine cards, full-size Valentine cards out of them. Like I said, this is a rather big book, so it does have a lot of paper and a lot of big paper in it. This is from a German collection of paper dolls. I love this guy, and I thought he went really well with the child on the front of the book. Another pocket for you. More of the 1941 ledger paper. I've got some dress forms in here. There's a great little vellum piece that says celebrate and some pattern paper back here for you to play with. And also some, whoops, some really pretty ribbons. I think that's my favorite ribbon. It's so gorgeous. Many books for you, more language for you, tags. I thought she was so pretty. I just had to stick her in here. My beautiful sister bought me uh, some fleece <laughs> to wear in the, for the winter. And my sister has red hair. So I just, I had to cut out that packaging and put it in a book because I thought that the, the girl is just so beautiful. I've got a vintage Christmas card for you. A lovely poem. I like to put inspiring things in my book to make you think, you know, to read and think. I love, I love when the books have a story and inspiration behind them. This is another fold-out piece that you could make into a card. It's already ready to go. Bookmark. Um, some botanical, vintage botanical for you. This is a song that says my mother was a lady. This is the back of the, this is the back of the vintage Christmas card, the inside of it. It says, Greetings 1964, Janet McMillan. 
couple travel brochures for you because I think those are always fun to look at. And the pocket that goes that went on the inside cover is now inside the book. I don't know. Doggies jumped in here. They just jumped in here. <laughs> I have two rescue dogs. I have a Rhodesian Ridgeback and I have a um, a little beagle dog that we rescued about five years ago. She's the sweetest little thing. Um, she coos. I, I, I don't, I don't, I mean, you guys that have beagles, what is that noise they make? She goes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it's the sweetest thing ever. She just sounds like she's talking to you. This is a vintage Valentine's card, and I love the way this is laid out because it's laid out just like a little book. And I have uh, receipts in here for you, a little bit of gaming uh, gaming, vintage gaming stuff. Another little dog. <laughs> Cute. Yahtzee scorecards. More papers. Lots and lots of paper. Book plates. This is some vintage education ephemera. This is the back of the Valentine's card, y'all. It says Mama, 1961. And, you know, with our little fella on the front, I thought it was cool that we had a Mama card in here. This is, a, it says Happy, 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 Happy. And birds make me happy, so I stuck some bird, a bird picture in here. This is a sweet card that says Believe in Miracles. And there's writing paper that kind of matches the card. I've got some, um, I love these uh, stick-on notes. Another transparency that says happiness depends upon ourselves. That's really true, isn't it? More flowers, flowers, a happy birthday tag, tissue to play with. These are bookmarks. Forever stay open, curious, fearless, transparent, and willing to be and love being exactly who you are. That kind of says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Love yourself and everything else kind of falls into place. I've got a fabric page for you. Let's see what our Great American Recipes is. Birthday cakes. That will be fun. We've got birthday cakes in here. This is, um, I think this is a French story about a cook. Let me see if I can find the front of it. Au Claire de la Lune. Uh, it's, we will now play for you an imaginary episode from the life of Luli, a cook who became the musician of King Louis the Fourteenth. So I thought that would be cool to kind of add in here with our birthday cake. And we've got some, this is from the, um, from a decorating magazine. It's really super cool. How to decorate with pictures. Lots of paper. The 1964 Ladies Home Journal. Page from that. And my pages are winding down for that, so I'm kind of sad about it. This is cool. This is a draw a backyard that can be seen through these patio doors. If you're thinking of purchasing a home, if you're thinking of making a move, what would you like to see behind your, what would you like to see outside your patio doors? I thought that would be a nice, um, that's a nice little prompt to think about, isn't it? I would like to see uh, the ocean, or a lake, or a pond, or mm, something with water. This has the legend of John Henry. This is the Cracker Barrel Old Country Store Almanac. More fabric pages. We have some gorgeous ephemera from the Nielsen's. This is from 1930. And this one is from 1937. I thought that I just love the, the font here, the Thatcher in Biddeford, Maine. I do not know what the Thatcher is, but it looks like, you know, from judging from the font, it looks like a publication. And we had a little teddy bear that just wanted to jump in to have some fun. And more pages. Um, this is... A really gorgeous card. I've got some flashcards for you. A pretty wooden butterfly. This is one of my paper flowers. 
fabric. This is a full size card that says thinking of you. The 1941 ledger paper. More tags, more ledger paper. And at the back of the book, I have like a smattering of, of um, papers and a skinny book for you to play with, guys. Memories is $45, and I should have Memories in the shop a little bit later on today. The next book we're going to take a look at is Charlotte Bronte. Charlotte Bronte wrote Jane Eyre. Excuse me a second, I'm going to get a drink of water. Goodness, thank you. Oh, that was good water. I love this fabric because I'm a pen geek. I'm a paper geek, I'm a book geek, and it just all like melts together very happily. We can also see that Charles Dickens is, uh, is prevalent on this cover. Arthur Conan Doyle is on the side, and Ray Bat Bradbury and Herman Melville is up here in Shakespeare as well. So we certainly did cover a lot of authors, but the main <clears throat> the main part of this book is about Charlotte Bronte and her wonderful novel, Jane Eyre. I finished it with black and white beads, a little bit of bling, and some pearls. In the book, Mr. Rochester gives Jane um, pearl earrings, and, um, a pearl necklace, so I thought that the pearls were a nice addition there. Then yeah, we start off with a mystery woman because Jane Eyre was a mystery woman. You know, when you write your own story, there's your storybook right there. A little bookmark for you. In the novel Jane Eyre, Jane is an orphan, and she is educated at Lowood School. And uh, she, it's a terrible, um, it's, it's, it's an awful place, y'all. Her descriptions of Lowood School are quite accurate for this time in history, which is the early 1840s. It was common for uh, children to be sent away to be educated, and the, oh Lord, the descriptions of the school are just horrifying, but they do build Jane's character, and she leaves Lowood School <clears throat> to become the governess for the Rochester family, and that's where the novel kind of proceeds from there. This is, <clears throat> sorry, this is a draw a portrait of yourself, and if you're familiar with the novel, you understand what that means. Jane's pupil is Adele, and Adele is the ward of Mr. Rochester, and she is a French child, and she is into fashion, so I thought it would be kind of fun to include some of our French lessons that have to do with fashion. Now, this one has to do with fabric. So we got camel hair, chiffon, corduroy, cotton, crepe, denim, felt, flannel, gabardine, lace, leather, linen, and their, um, their French counterparts. I thought that would just be kind of fun to put in here. And beautiful handmade paper. Petite conversations in French. This is a card, but it's a purse, uh, a purse-shaped card, and I just thought it would be fun to include in here since, since our little Adele is a little fashion plate, no doubt about that. And her descriptions of, you know, her dresses and what, what, how she likes her hair and the whole thing is just really precious. Jane is Adele's uh, tutor, so I thought it would be fun to include a, um, a little bit of uh, education, you know, uh, flashcard right here. You are loved. More of this. This is beautiful paper. Um, it's it's definitely got the French couture thing going on here. These are colors for you to play with and ATCs for you to mix around and see what you could come up with. More beautiful paper. Book plates, education ephemera. This is a vintage, um, I 
love the flocking. I can't keep my fingers off of it. <laughs> it's a vintage Christmas card that says for my husband. It's got a jolly snowman on it with a flocked black top hat. This is a little secret pocket for you. It says craft and it's got some things for you to craft right here. Things to play with. Um, flowers for you to put together, some lacy fabric, some lacy um, material. This is a uh, paper back here. It's really pretty too. Very different. Yeah, we've got playing cards. This is a biography of Charlotte Bronte who wrote Jane Eyre. She was sent away to school in 1824 with her four sisters. They were treated so badly that even their remote and dour father soon brought them back home, but it was too late for the eldest two, however, who were both dead within a few days. The school in the early chapters of Jane Eyre is, in its grimmest aspects, modeled on these experiences. Jane Eyre passed away when she was just 39. Boy, did she leave us with something wonderful in Jane Eyre. And Emily Bronte was her sister, and Anne Bronte um, was her other sister. I think that's right. And all three were authors. Anne's Agnes Gray, Charlotte's Jane Eyre, Emily's Wuthering Heights, and Agnes's A Agnes Gray and Anne's Agnes Gray. I've never read Agnes Gray. I would like to do that. Some crochet. This is a little book that my friend Judy teaches daycare and she was encouraged, she always encourages her children to recycle. So after the holidays, they were recycling greeting cards and they made little books out of them. <laughs> Very special. A dress form, some pattern paper. Vintage dictionary page for you. A 1906 check. This one, and I always put these in plastic. This one is made to the treasurer of Grace Church. These checks were drawn on the Second National Bank of the City of New York, and it says Fifth Avenue uh, and 23rd Street right there. So it has to be Grace Avenue in New York, I would, I would guess. The check is dated October 22nd, 1906. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just so cool just to hold that in your hand and think that it's 112 years old. Um, it's just in such fine and beautiful shape. It's very inspiring. Some more paper for you. Tags and a little pocket back here. This is probably one of the most famous quotes from Jane Eyre, and that's why I'm including the bird and the feather. Let's take this off and just read this right here. I am no bird and no net ensnares me. I am a free human being with an independent will. And I've included three more quotes from the book. Slide that back down in here for you and put it back together. And this is your Bluebird of Happiness. This is an ATC for you to make into something beautiful, and I know you will. In the book, Adele falls asleep after she has, she falls asleep at 6 p.m. after she has eaten strawberries and been in the strawberry field all day long. So I thought that was a nice nod to that. More of the 1941 ledger paper. Ledger paper is incredible. And we are almost to the back. We've got your pocket that is full of things for you to play with and a skinny book and more papers right here. 
Charlotte Bronte is $40, and she'll be in my store a little later on today. I wish she were in my store. I wish I could talk to her. What a very interesting person to have come up with a seminal novel before she was before she passed away at 39. Just to me, that's a that's brilliant. Um, thank you guys for listening. Sorry, it got carried away right there for a second. I love Jane Eyre, y'all. It is really good reading. So if you haven't read it, do it. It is it's a remarkable book. Thank you guys so much for listening and for supporting my shop. I appreciate you guys so much. Have a wonderful Sunday, and I will see you soon. Bye.